morning everybody we're back with another video for you guys today is april 2nd it is thursday morning it's a crispy morning actually it's kind of chilly but i love it it's a beautiful day as you can see we're over here by the port canaro that's the only boat ramp open that i know of so we're gonna go out today again and hopefully target some bluefish, sheep's head, uh, black drums, and whatever you know bites man. Hopefully catch some redfish as well. So we got our kayak ready as you can see here. That's my Hobie Outback Camo Edition 2017. I love it. I got the 180 Turbo. Got the reverse. Man, that thing is magic. So today we got four rods going on. One of them definitely my go-to gacha lure. Man, I cannot live without this one. I gotta have my gacha lure for trolling. That's the best way to go. You will catch everything. Remember, if you watch my last week's video, I got the big ass flounder on this gacha lure. I was just kind of jigging and I got that big flounder, but I lost it, you know? I did not use my net, and I did have my net. But today is the redemption day. If I catch one, or if I catch any big fish, I'm definitely netting that, man, for sure. I'm not gonna play around with it, so lesson learned, big time. If you haven't watched that video, I'm gonna put it on the, up there somewhere. Go ahead and watch that. <laughs> You're not gonna believe how big that flounder was. Anyway. Then my second rig that I got ready is the Bluefish rig with the two ounce weight, wire lead, and I got the long hook obviously. They got the sharp teeth so that works well. So I got the frozen mullet with that. Of course my good old fish finder, that's the Garmin Striker Plus 4. I love it man. It lets me know what the depth is, drop zones, it's incredible and I have my third rod is a split shot I'm gonna free line it I got the foot and a half leader with the number two circle hook if I catch the live bait croaker whatnot I'm gonna free line it here for the redfish or snook right by the north jetty so that should work just fine and then my final one, of course, always a go-to for pier, ocean, surf fishing, kayak fishing. It's my Carolina rig. That's a two ounce with the bead, so it makes some noise. And I have the, again, number one circle hook. And that's going to be for the ship set that I'm going to target today. I got the fiddler's crab, as you can see, right there. So that's it guys, we got frozen mullet, frozen shrimp, and live fielder crabs, hoping for a good day, we'll catch you out there. Alright guys, we made it out to the North Jetty by the rocks, throwing the North Carolina rig. I'm trying to keep my social distancing out on the water. I got one boat over there, one boat over there. Oh, oh that was a bite. That was a bite. We're using our fiddler's crab, Carolina rig. Hoping for some ship's head early morning. It's kind of choppy, but we should be okay. I think he got me, man. It was two quick tap tap bites. I think the fiddler crab is along the street. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. So right here, as you can see, that's what we're gonna use on a tiny hook. There's our fiddler crabs. Put them from the bottom, coming through the top, just like that. There we go. There we go and hoping for some sheep's head. 
Oh, we got a good fish. Holy crap, what is it? Oh man, what is that? Okay. What is that? Let's take him out. I think it's a... Oh man, I need to get out of this side. It's gonna take me for a ride. Oh man. Crap, I got on the rudder. That's not good. Oh man, oh man. Let me pull the rudder up. Oh crap. Oh, that's a dilemma. There we go. There we go. That looks like a stingray. Oh man, I don't want to deal with a stingray. Oh, oh. that thing's going out. Holy crap. Oh. oh, it just caught me. Wow, either shark. Whew, that was a either shark or a stingray, but it totally cut my line. Hi right, guys, little update. It's 10.30. It's been two and a half hours. There was absolutely no ship set, man. They're not there this morning like they were there before last week. So we just switched. I went out a little bit right in the middle of the canal. I'm kind of multitasking throwing the gacha lure, jigging the other way. I have the frozen mullet on this one, that's the bluefish rig. And this one has the Carolina rig with the frozen shrimp. And we're over here at 44 feet deep. Water temperatures are 74. And it's a good drop zone too. It goes from 44 and then if I go back in, it's gonna go up to 29. So I'm just kind of multitasking. Oh, they got fish on. Finally. Looks like a sheepy. Swims like a sheepy. Oh, look at that. Man, that's nice. Wow, that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful fish. Nice. Wow, that is beautiful fish, man. Look at all those colors. Oh, I had a good bite. Damn, he bit that thing. Oh my God, look at that. I was using the, wow. It bit in half right before the hook. Man. Oh, he was using the gulp. That's the mud minnow croaker, new penny. Four inch. Wow. I just got bit off. Hey guys, guess what? I got skunk, man. <laughs> yes, sir, Bob. My first official skunk. I'm proud of it. I put on my belt. But, you know, it was a fun day after all, man. I only caught one croaker I used as a bait, nothing else. Those stupid little rock fishes, and that was it, man. People were catching snooks left and right in the afternoon with croakers, live croakers, free line, but I did not have any bait, so it sucked. But like I said, that's how it goes. At the end of the day, I had a great time, man. Um, I'm gonna do this again, definitely. Gonna take my kayak. I borrow one of my buddy's truck, as you can see. My God, man, what a big difference. I put the kayak in the trunk. Dude, that's it, easy. On the bed liner, sits there, tie it down, you're done in 10 minutes. But anyways, man, my first official skunk. I'm so proud of it. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I will see you on the next video. See ya.